In this video, we're gonna be setting up a Python virtual environment for your Django project. And because Django is built on top of Python, this step is very important to do properly from the beginning. Now, the Python virtual environment setup part of this video is gonna work on Mac, Windows, and Linux. I'm gonna be using Linux, specifically Ubuntu in this video. And I'm actually gonna show you how to set up an Ubuntu virtual private server. But if you want to use whatever system you have available to you right now, use the timestamp down below to skip ahead to the virtual environment part. Okay, otherwise let's go ahead and get right on into it. Now, I am going to spin up a virtual private server with DigitalOcean. I actually have credits down below if you want to get set up with that for free as well. So once you do that, go ahead and meet me here. And what we're gonna do is create a droplet. On this next page, you can pick where your droplet is located Pick the server that's closest to you. I am in Kuala Lumpur, so I'm gonna pick the Singapore location. And like I said, we're gonna be running Ubuntu. We'll run version 22.10. And we don't need too many resources here, so I'm just gonna pick a regular CPU with one gigabyte of RAM and 25 gigabytes of disk space. Now pick a password for your server, and I'm just gonna let Google suggest this one and take a note of it over here so I don't lose that. And then we're going to scroll down here. The one other thing we want to change, I'm just going to change this from uh, Ubuntu with all the other crap after it to just Ubuntu. Okay, and then I will create my droplet. About a minute later, your server will be up and running at this IP address. So I'm going to copy that. And on my Mac, I'm going to open up Terminal, which is going to open up on my other screen here. And we're gonna use SSH to log into the server. Now, if you're on Windows, I have a video about how to use SSH on Windows. It's a similar to what we're gonna be doing now. All we really have to do is type in SSH root, which is the username, at the IP address, which is on my clipboard. So I'm gonna do that, hit enter. And it's gonna ask you, do you trust this connection? We can go ahead and type yes. And what that's gonna do is ask us for the password which I have noted down here on my notes. So I'll copy that and paste it in, hit enter, and that should log us in and it does. So now we are on our remote Ubuntu system. And like I said, we're using the root user. That's not a good practice. Let's make another user that we can run everything under. So to do that, we will do add user and then pick a name. I'm gonna pick my name, Tony. It's gonna to ask you for a password. So I'm gonna pick a password for Tony and confirm that password give his name and all this other stuff. You don't really have to fill out. That looks good. So I'm gonna type Y, hit enter. And now we have a new user called Tony, but let's let's use that user. Actually, you know what? We're gonna give him pseudo privileges first, uh, which allows us to install packages, which we're gonna to need to do in this tutorial. So um, to do that, we're gonna issue this command. It's user mod dash A capital G pseudo Tony. So we'll do that. And now we can switch over to that user with SU dash Tony. And as you can see, we got some nice color here, Tony at Ubuntu. All right, let's set up the Python virtual environment. So to check your version of Python that you're running, you can type in Python dash capital V. And on some systems like Ubuntu, the Python binary is not installed. You have to explicitly say Python 3 dash capital V. And in my case, I'm running Python 3.10. And just to confirm, that's okay. I have this link down below. It's the Django project documentation. And if you're running 3.10, you can run, uh, for Python, if you're running 3.10, it looks like you can run Django version 3.2, 4.0, or 4.1. So just come to this page and make sure your Python version is compatible with your Django version that you're targeting. Okay, so let's open up the terminal window again and do the virtual environment setup. So. To do that, type in Python 3 dash M V E N V. And then in our home directory, which is specified by the tilde, we're gonna make a folder called ENV. And then we're gonna call our virtual environment. I'm just gonna call mine DJ short for Django. So go ahead and hit that. And it looks like at least in the case of Ubuntu, you need one additional package to set up the virtual environment. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. For some of you, that command will have worked if you're on Mac or Windows perhaps, but otherwise I'm gonna install the Python 3.10-venv package. And it looks like I need to use my sudo privileges, which I gave myself earlier to do that. So I'm gonna do sudo apt install python 3.10-venv and type capital Y, hit enter. 
and that'll go ahead and install. All right, that has installed, and now we can try again with our creation of our virtual environment, Python 3-MVEMV, and then the path to where you want to store that virtual environment. So I'm going to do that, hit enter, and what that's going to do is go ahead and create that for us. Now, type in ls, and you'll see right away that that env folder has been created for us. And inside the env folder, we have our virtual environment. Now, you can store many one or more virtual environments in this folder or all around your system, but I like to keep them in one single folder called env in my home directory. Um, let's see, inside the env folder, inside the dj folder, there is the binary folder, the include folder, the library folder, that's where all our packages will be installed for this virtual environment. And let's take a look in the bin directory. Here we have the Python 3 binary, the Python binary, and an activate script, which we'll be using later. Now I want to show you one thing here. Type in which Python 3 right now, and that's pointing to the Python binary at user bin Python 3. That's the system version of Python that's installed. We want to use the Python 3 binary from our virtual environment. So how do we do that? Well, we can use this activate script to tell our system to use the virtual environment and not the built-in system binary. So to do that, you can type in source and then give it the path to that. So env dj bin and then activate. So hit enter and now you'll see that we're on the we're within the Python virtual environment called dj because of this prefix right here. Okay? And now when we type in which python3 it's telling us that's the version that's installed at home tony env dj bin python3. So that's great, and actually now we also have uh, access to the Python binary without explicitly saying Python 3. So we can do which Python, and that's pointing to that same one in the bin directory. And if we do Python-V, that's gonna be Python 3.10, and if we do Python 3-V, that's also gonna be 3.10. So they're essentially the same thing. One last thing I wanna show you how to do is to get out of your virtual environment. And to do that, you simply have to type in deactivate. So D-E-A-C-T-I-V-A-T-E, -E, hit enter, and you'll see that that prefix goes away. So if we do which Python three, it's gonna point back to the one at user bin. And simply to go back to the virtual environment, you can use source env, the name of your virtual environment, bin activate and that'll put us back in there. Now that we have our Python virtual environment set up, let's start a Django project in this video next.